Hey everyone, we're going to find the limit as x approaches 2 pi of sine of x divided by x squared minus 4 pi squared. So basically what we're going to do is notice that if we substitute in x, so if x equals 2 pi, and we substitute this in, we're going to get 0 in the denominator, also in the numerator. So let's uh, let uh, let's subtract 2 pi from here. We get x minus 2 pi and let that equal t. We want our t to approach 0 so we can use this format uh, to help find us the limit. So to do that, um, notice that as t approaches 0, then our x is going to approach 2 pi. So just using this fact here, if we let t equal x minus 2 pi. And basically you just subtract the 2 pi and uh, set it to uh, t. Also that means that uh, x equals t plus 2 pi, or you can just put 2 pi plus t. All right. So now let's substitute everything in. We're going to try to get it in this format. So now we have the limit as t approaches 0. We got that. And then we have sine of uh, x. Well, our x is 2 pi plus t. And then in the denominator, we're going to have 2 pi plus t squared minus 4 pi squared. Now for the numerator, we're going to have to use our uh, sum formula for uh, trig. So that's going to be sine of 2 pi times cosine of t plus cosine of 2 pi times sine of t. All right. So basically, sine of 2 pi is 0, cosine of 2 pi is 1. So this, this whole thing is just going to be sine of t. So now we have the limit as t approaches 0 of sine of t. And in the denominator, let's expand this a bit. That's going to be 4 pi squared plus uh, 4 pi t plus t squared minus 4 pi squared. And what happens with this is the 4 pi squares canceled. And now we can deal with what we have left here. So what we have left is um, sine of um, t as we take the limit of t approaching 0. And we had uh, 4 pi t plus t squared. Now, let's factor out a t. So we have the limit as t approaches 0 of sine squared, or sine of t, divided by t times 4 pi plus t. All right, now that we have that, um, Let's go ahead and split this up. I can write this. Remember, our goal is to write it like this. So I'm going to pull this out and write this as the limit as t approaches 0 and write this as sine of t divided by t. And then I can multiply this by 1 and do this as 1 divided by 4 pi plus 1. Or is that t? t. All right. So as t goes to 0, we know this equals 1. And that was our goal. So now we have 1 plus 1 divided by 4 pi. When you substitute in the 0, you're going to get plus 0. So this is just going to equal uh, 1 divided by 4 pi. And that is your limit. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.